Hello, my name is Ofe Jeremiah and today we'll be talking about the topic expressing logarithm as an inverse of indices. But first, we need to understand some basic concepts. We need to understand the fact that indices is the plural form of an index and logarithm is the mirror image of an index. What do I mean by mirror image? What I'm trying to say is that logarithm is the inverse of an index. Okay? So, in a mode that we have loss of indices, we also have loss of logarithm, which are direct inverse of indices. So, logarithm on its own can be seen as an inverse process of taking powers. Okay? So, a log is a power or an exponent. Okay? For instance, we're having an expression log 9 to base 3 equals to equation mark. This expression is saying what base will 3 be raised to that is going to give us 9. Okay? So this expression is same thing as saying 3 raised to question mark is equal to 9. Alright? To further explain what I'm saying, let's focus on the first rule of logarithm, which is called the change of base rule. And it's same thing as one on one rule in indices, which says whenever you're having an expression or equation of same base, their powers are equal. So similarly, when you're having m equals to b raised to the power x, then the same thing as saying log m to base b is equal to x. Okay? We're having some problems here. Problem 1 says, given that log m to base a is equal to x, make m subject of the equation. So what we do is this. The base is, is raised to power x. Okay? That's the other side of the equation. Then everything will be equal to m. It's like 360. The base raised to the power x, because it's in the other side of the equation, whatever value you're having, then everything will be equal to the remainder. That's how we got this expression. Okay? I have problem 2 here, which says, find x in the given expression log 4 to base 8 equals to x. Just like in problem 1, the base, which is 8, will be raised to the power x. Okay, then everything will be equal to 4. Right? So that's how we have this. So solving the indices, we're having 8, even number, 4, even number. So we can say 2 raised to power 3, that is, we can say 2 times, right? We can say 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is what? 8. So that's how we got this. Then 2 times 2 is 4. So you see that we are having the same base 2, 2. So this expression brings us back to this formula. Okay? Where the bases are same. 2 cancel 2 out because they are the same. So we are left with 3x equals to 2. Okay? So what we just need to do is to solve for x by dividing both sides of the equation by 3. So we see 3x divided by 3 is equal to 2 divided by 3, where 3 is going to cancel 3. So we are left with x equal to 2 over 3. Alright? We have problem 3, which says find y if 3 is equal to log y plus 1 to base 2. So we just have to rewrite the equation first. Then we have our base, which is 2. It will be raised to power 3. Okay. Then everything will be equal to y plus 1. Okay. So you see, we have 2 raised to power 3. Just like in problem 2. 2 raised to power 3 is what? 8. Okay. Then it's equal to y. Y plus what? y plus 1. That is, after simplifying this. So we have plus 1. Once plus 1 crosses the equality sign, we are having minus 1, which is 8 minus 1 equal to y. Alright? 8 minus 1 is, is 7 equal to y. So that is how we got this answer. Another rule we are going to be looking at is the product rule. 
which is the same thing as the product we have in indices that says when multiplying numbers of the same basis, their powers are added. So similarly in product in logarithm, the rule says the logarithm of the product of two or more positive factors to positive base other than one is equal to the sum of the logarithm of the factors to the same base. What this is saying is that, for instance, like this expression we are having here, that log x y to base a is equal to log x to base eight a plus log y to base a. That is to say, in a much as they are positive, the bases are positive, the powers are positive, then their powers are added. Okay, the the the, the product will be multiple and uh, addition. Okay, and secondly, it's saying other than one. That is to say, in a much as x is not less than one or equal to one, or y is not less than one or equal to one, then the product will therefore give us x to base a plus y to base a. But note, note that log x y to base a is not the same thing as log x plus a to base a is equal to become equal to log x to base a times log y to base a. They are completely different. Same thing is applicable. Sometimes you might have more than two factor values. Like now we have A B C. Okay. Same rules still apply in a module as they are multiplying themselves, one, in a module as they are positive values. Two and in a mode that they are not less than or equal to one. There are a lot of rules we can use to express logarithm as an inverse of indices. We have the quotient rule, we have the power rule, and so on. But we're going to stop here for today. We have simple exercise here we can use to see if you really understand what we are doing. It says find y in the given expression where 7 is equal to log y plus 1 to base 2. And also you should find y where we have y to base, to base 3 equals to 6. Okay, so we you can send your answers and your questions to the email displays below. Thank you.